hi guys today I will show you how to connect ASP.NET web application uh, with SQL Server database uh, for that we have SQL Server 2017 that I'm going to start uh, and we just do the 2017 community edition uh, so for that first of all you have to go to new create a new uh, new new project so we are going to create a ASP.NET web application uh, uh, that is our .NET framework so we are going to write db connect so uh, we are going to create a ASP.NET web application and that would be empty and we are not going to add any references for MVC or web API or web form uh, it will be just empty project in which we are going to create one web form as this been created uh, we are going to connect our SQL server here and we will create a new database we will just name it db connect so we have a new database here uh, now we have to add a table to this database we are going to just click on the table and we will have this uh, uh, this thing so we are going to add some column names uh, we can add test one uh, we can have data uh, data type has uh, watcher uh, test two and we will have the watcher test three so we have three column here uh, that we will be showing in on a on our ASP.NET uh, uh, web application so uh, we have these three only we are going to save this table as db connect underscore table so we have our table now uh, and okay as we are creating our table we are going to our uh, web application this is our our uh, web application project uh, right click on the project that db connect that i have created and add uh, a web form and we will name it as okay db connect underscore web form Ah, okay I'm going to tell you that we are going to drag and drop uh, using we are not going to write the connection string we are just going to do it uh, from the toolbar uh, in the data tab first of all we will open the design menu okay we'll go to a school server and we have our table saved here we'll refresh it and we have this table DB connect uh, underscore table so right click on it and edit top 200 rows now just add random data into the table and the column test one test two that we are going to show in our uh, web application so we have this random data we are going to do that now we have the random data in our table we have a database we have a table now we are going to connect it in our web form uh, how we are going to do it we have to go into toolbox uh, we have to uh, from the data tab uh, uh, we have to select sql data source uh, we will drag and drop it here in our design section 
and then we are going to configure data source uh, now we are going to uh, uh, make a connection so we are going to write a new connection and in server name go into your uh, SQL server uh, right click new database oh, no. uh, we have to connect connect object explorer and get the server name from here we have to copy it cancel and we'll paste it in the server name here so we are going to refresh and it will show the table all the table in this server and we have this db connect table that we are going to use in our data source and then ok uh, we have our server we'll connect next and now we have to name our connection string uh, it's db connect connection string that's fine but we have connection string and we have to select the uh, the column that we are going to use uh, how would you like to retrieve your data so what column you are going to retrieve uh, this static means that all column and query statement if you select static from db connect so it is getting all the columns from the table select next that's your query it will show the data so query is working database is working we are going to click finish now we have our data source here uh, so here is database that is connected and working fine and we have a data source here we are going to save and then now we are going to show this database uh, in our web page so we will drag and drop grid view and then from here we will choose the data source uh, which is this SQL data source one that we created right now and that is that. so I'm going to show you that we don't have to write the connection string manually it has been added automatically when we drag and drop a SQL data source so now we will run our application mm, we have our database running uh, okay now it's taking some time It's taking some a lot of time. Okay, here it's our table. So uh, here is a grid view of the table. So it's quite easy that we just have to drop the SQL data source, drag and drop the SQL data source into the uh, view, and then we just have to add grid view to that. So this is how uh, we connect the database with SQL Server uh, 2017 and. Uh, we have SQL Server 2017 and also uh, uh, Visual Studio 2017. Uh, thank you for today. Have a nice day.